Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hi, my name is Madison and I post college related videos specifically based around nursing since I am in nursing school. And today we have a video that you guys have been waiting for for so long, I'm not gonna lie, I've been lacking motivation, I've been lazy, and I have just been like cleaning everything, like organizing closets, cupboards, like literally everything, like deep cleaning everything. So that's like just, Cleaning so therapeutic for me and it's really helped with my anxiety recently because I feel like being like in quarantine has really made me go a little bit crazy. So um, I'm sure most of you can relate. But anyway, so we are going to be doing a study with me today and it's been really requested. I'm going to show you things that I swear by when I study and also different things that I've been trying out. Um, if you guys do not know, if you're new, I start my med surge class June 8th and um yeah, so I'm gonna pass and I'm gonna do amazing and I'm speaking that into existence right now. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and healthy. And if you guys have study tips, please leave them down below so we can all just share and help each other out. All right, now before we get started with the study with me, I just wanted to share this brand that I have been working with. I'm sure you guys have heard of this brand before because a lot of people use it and I've seen it all around. And I was so excited when they reached out to me because I wanted to try it for so long. So the brand is called Native. I got the Native deodorants and I got three of them, lavender and rose, citrus and herbal musk and coconut and vanilla. So something that makes these native deodorants different compared to other deodorant brands is that they are aluminum free and paraben and sulfate free. And they are also vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing. So I wanna show you guys the three scents that I got. They have such a wide range of scents, which is awesome. So you can really choose what you like. So this first one is coconut and vanilla. And I love anything vanilla and coconut. So this is like perfect. And it's just such like a warm scent. It kind of reminds me of like the fall with like vanilla, but also summer because of the coconut. It just reminds me of like a beach day, which is perfect for the summertime. So this reminds me of like a perfect like summer scent because it is just so like warm and beachy. And then this is citrus and herbal musk. And this, you guys also smells like summer but it also has like a really just clean scent to it too and then i have lavender and rose and you guys this smells so perfect for like the spring and it's super relaxing too as you guys know lavender is good for relaxing and you guys the packaging on these are just so so cute it's simple and they're like small enough to like you can throw in your bag super easy packaging is super sleek simple and i feel like it's just very aesthetically pleasing today i'm going to be using my vanilla the vanilla and coconut and the nice thing about this deodorant is that it's not sticky and it dries really fast because i hate when you know you almost have to feel like you have to go like this for your arms to dry this is literally perfect and it's like soft it doesn't feel like it's like tugging on your skin under your arms like some are it's like some deodorants do the other day i had it on when i had like a whole day of cleaning and i still smell good after like at the end of the day i was like oh like I still smell fresh so that's a plus especially if you're like working out or something and you still want to make sure that you're smelling nice clean and fresh so normally three of their deodorants is $36 but if you use my code in the link which I'll put right here and also in the description box you can get them for 33% off which is $24 for three native deodorants which is awesome so you can pick three different scents that you like so I just quickly wanted to show you guys the website on the home page you can go to build your own pack and you can click three of the scents of deodorant that you want and it goes through all of the scents which is awesome and gives you a little description of each one and you will also get free shipping with that which is awesome i will put right here where they have their free shipping too super excited to share that with you guys and make sure you check the description and use my code to get three of the native deodorants for only 24 dollars so Thank you, Native, for collaborating with me for this video, and we are just going to go ahead and get started with studying. All right, guys, so my first thing that I like to do when I sit down to study is, first off, set up and find a quiet place. So right now, since we're in quarantine and we can't go to the library or Starbucks or anything, I have been 
studying in my basement or in my room but i get really distracted when i'm in my room and i end up sleeping so we are down here in the basement so what i brought down is the stuff that i'm gonna be using to study so i have my textbook which i'll show you guys in a minute how i label everything my dry erase markers because i'm obsessed with my dry erase board as you guys know we have some fresh lemon water i definitely recommend like snacks and stuff and my agenda and then i also have my notebook which if you guys saw my last video that's when i was taking notes and then this is my notebook with all of my study guides and my other notes in it of course a bunch of pens and markers and then we have this complete study guide bundle which i'm so excited to share with you guys and talk to you guys about in a minute all right so whenever i show any of my textbooks and my videos i get a bunch of questions on how i kind of label or organize it so here's the side so i'm going to show you guys so this is just one of my textbooks this is a volume one something that helps me when i'm studying is knowing where everything is at in the book and it can be super overwhelming when you have a book with over a thousand pages in it numerous books with over a thousand pages in it and you're just kind of like oh my gosh like where was it that you know this information was at so what i did was at first i started just using like post-it notes just like these but i didn't put tape on them and they kept getting ripped and i'm like get really bothered when stuff is like that so i decided to take the time one day literally to just make all of them like neat and i just took like a piece of packing tape and folded it over so it like won't bend or get ripped i mean they kind of get a little bit bent but they don't like Overall, I think they look really good after 16 weeks. And so what I do is I, at first these colors kind of had a meaning and then I like ran out of them. So the colors don't really mean anything at this point, but it's like whatever we covered. So if I'm going to learn elimination, I just open it up and elimination is right here. And I'm able to like go through and do like the readings and whatnot. Um... Or go through and like study. So normally once I mark it, it's like when I've already read through everything and stuff like that. And then here on the side, you see we have little like sticky notes like these. So what these mark are specific charts that our instructor like pointed out or that I was reading through and thought was important. So I'll do a little highlight up here. And then I'll do a little sticky note on the side. And same thing, I ran out of different ones, so I just have a bunch here. So these ones on the side here, these little pink ones, I actually didn't end up taping them, which I need to. But these were from my second term of nursing school. So that is that. So I just put them on the side here just so I knew the difference between, okay, this is from the first eight weeks and then these are from the second. And then if something's important, I put the tape on that. Like, this is super important. We needed to know the multi-system effects of undernutrition. She, like, told us that. So I wanted to make sure I knew this front and back. So I put important here. And then, again, same thing, just tabs. And obviously, this is where I've done the reading and highlighted and so on and so forth. So um, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know this was my notebook from the last 16 weeks. So um, each of, I'll show you guys here how my school sets it up. So each week you have like day one and day two and these are our student learning outcomes. So it's basically what you need to know on the test, like the objectives. So at first I was like writing out all of the objectives and like, green I like to use different colors so I can really see and then sometimes it got to the point where it was a lot of writing so sometimes I would type it um, and if stuff like stood out or I really wanted it to stand out I would use like little sticky notes so obviously if you're in nursing school you know what old car and ice is it's just something you need to know it becomes second nature but I'm just flipping through and showing you guys some of like what my um, notes looked like and these are like object my objectives so they're just me answering what the objectives were from information from the powerpoints from the book from like handouts anything like that so that's what this looks like and then I got to the point where I started reading through and this also helps me where I read through the chapter and then I take my own notes so this helped me a lot too so I put like you know stuff that stood out to me or that I thought was important and again, I'm just reading straight from the textbook and putting terms and stuff. So I'm putting all the vitamins, the minerals, stuff about water, super important, the multi-effects of undernutrition. Um, if you have charts with the multi-system effects, it's really important to know because it's so crazy that like 
you know, something as undernutrition can literally affect everything in your whole entire body and stuff with like hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. It's just crazy. So yeah, so we have some perfusion here. Something that I'm super excited to show you is this study guide. And this is Cece's study guide and she has an Etsy shop. So I'm going to link everything, her Etsy shop, her Facebook, her Instagram, everything right here. I'm going to link it down below. And you guys, this is insane. So she has um, her own Etsy shop, like I said, and you can get like her whole study guide bundle for nursing school. First off, these notes are so pretty, but let me go back to the top and show you literally everything so she has her table of contents this is everything that's in this head to toe fundamentals of nursing study guide electrolyte imbalances medication administration meds you know just everything here you guys and i love aesthetically pleasing notes and this they're just beautiful like it literally looks like pinterest notes like perfect and it makes studying so much more fun and once like stuff opens up i'm going to print these out and um kind of put it in like a little notebook thing like maybe like bind it somehow and you guys it's just crazy and you definitely need to check this out if you maybe don't like your handwriting or the way you take notes because this is insane like insane like are you kidding me it's beautiful she literally has everything you need to know there's just so much. Like, you guys, I'm on page 34 of 88. Like, this is insane. So, I definitely recommend checking out her study guide. Okay, so I'm sure you guys are all aware of what Quizlet is. Um, I'm obsessed with Quizlet. I will put my Quizlet down below. Um, and what I like to do is I like to turn my stuff into study guides or, like, to into flashcards because it helps me a lot and... A lot of my classmates, we all make them, we all share them with each other, we all study each other's, and I think that really does help. So, like, for example here, I just have some study guides, and they're all, like, acids, pneumonia, whatever, and I did not make this particular one, a uh, classmate did, um, but for example, I would put... Like on one side of the flashcard, amount of bicarbonate decreases in relation to the amount of acid in the body. And on the other side, I would put metabolic acidosis. And then I could do another one and turn it into like a question. So what are some signs of, or like what are some symptoms of metabolic acidosis, decrease in level of consciousness, hyperventilation. And I kind of just do that. And it helps me instead of like memorizing it, like straight like this that helps me put it in like question form or like scenario form no i'm obsessed with dry erase boards so expo markers and this is my big dry erase board i got it for christmas when um i used to be obsessed with playing school i think i was like eight years old so i was 13 years ago yeah it had to have been then because my brother wasn't born yeah so literally this is huge i'm not sure of the dimensions but i'm sure if you look on amazon you can find like big ones like that um it's super nice i know they have like um, you know how they have like the chalk wallpaper? I'm sure they have like a dry erase board wallpaper, maybe. Not sure. But I also have mini ones that I got. I got one mini one at a drug mart. And then I got another mini one at like my college bookstore when I was at Ohio University. Dry erase boards are so important, especially if you're like me and you learn, like you remember stuff by writing stuff out. So once you have your you know, once you have your notes written out, then I like to go through and write certain things. So this helped me a lot for pharmacology because it's a lot of memorization for pharmacology, not necessarily for um, fundamentals or your med search classes. It's more applying the concepts, but it's amazing for pharm, for uh, the medications, risk factors, stuff like that. And also your DA, which is dimensional analysis. That helped me so much just doing like dimensional analysis problems because that's a big part of farm and once you get the hang of it they become fun and I love dimensional analysis now um so dry erase boards are just so essential all right so I love this girl um registered nurse RN I'm sure if you're a nursing student you've heard of her she helped me so much for when we started going over um arterial blood gases and I don't know she just is great I'm sure you guys have all heard of her but if you haven't registered nurse RN and then also the crash course videos are awesome if you just want to do like an overview of certain 
parts or systems of the body. And these are awesome if you just want like an overview. They do like pictures and everything like that. And John Green and his brother are awesome. But yeah, so this helps a lot. It helped me through anatomy. It helps me get like the bigger picture of stuff. Now, if I need to brush up on something. All right, guys. So those were some of the tips that I have done throughout nursing school my first semester and I'm just gonna be completely honest I haven't found like the perfect like study thing for me yet um you guys know I am honest I don't like to sugarcoat things um or like lie to you guys like this is real life this is me and I really haven't found something that like works super perfect for me yet and um it's hard because I feel like with like anatomy, like I had it down to a T. I knew exactly what I needed to do to get an A in the class and to, you know, get A's or even a hundreds on my exams, which I know it's a lot harder in nursing school to get hundreds. But um, let me know if you guys have tips because I'm someone, I'm like a very visual learner and I like to like see stuff. And I also like to see the bigger picture so it like makes sense. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm really like, I think, what is it? A tactile learner where you write stuff out? I'm not sure. But yeah, I think I definitely recommend you have to read your book. I feel like there's so many times where, let me pause this. There's so many times, I don't know. I'm just not like a huge reader, but you have to read your book and you can't just, you know, focus on the PowerPoints that they give you, at least for some classes. Like for mine so far, I've definitely had to read the book because I'll pull like the smallest information out of the book and you're like, oh yeah, that was that one chart that I didn't even read over. My friends who are now in their second semester, literally like they said they read like this stuff multiple times and I'm gonna be going to try to do that too. Um, I have trouble focusing one time to read, so I'm definitely gonna be working on that. But the internet, there's just so many different things to do when you, you know, there's just so many different resources and I actually don't have my NCLEX book down here, but I love the NCLEX Saunders, the Saunders NCLEX book. I think I have not, the, I don't have the newest edition. Of okay, so this is like my recent activity. I did like a practice assessment, but if you go to my ATI, it will have, and I think you have to be on it through like your school or something. I'm not quite sure, but they have different things that you can practice on here. I've been doing, actually, I think some of these are like locked, I'm pretty sure, because I tried to do one the other day and it wasn't working for me. But, um, yeah, so you can go through here. I took the, let's see, test. And then you can take tests. So here I can like click here. I have the RN fundamentals online practice exam and I can just hit retake and it looks like this. It'll tell you if it's incorrect or correct up here. And which is awesome about this is it tells you why it's incorrect. So it gives you like rationales. So, you know, please let me know if you guys have some good study tips. Again, I'm really trying, but this is kind of like the flow of how things are going. If you saw my last video, I was, you know, going through my PowerPoints right now and writing out my notes. And I just saw Elizabeth's video. So I actually just saw Elizabeth's video. You guys, if you don't know her, she is a nursing student as well. We go to the same school. She's one of my really good friends. She's amazing and she's about to graduate. And I just watched one of her videos that really helped me how to make like study guides. So I'm going to link that down below. Go subscribe to her, check out her channel. And yeah, so I might start doing that tomorrow, maybe a little bit differently. But I feel like with nursing school, it's trial, it's trial and error with what works for you, what doesn't. That is it for this video. Again, I hope I hope you found some tips here. Um, I love you guys so much. And if you guys have any video requests, let me know. And I will be sure to film those soon. I love you guys. You are the best. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.